Hi, this is Maria Sanchez with the Maria Sanchez Show on KADYTV.com. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. You might notice that we're in brand new sets, and we have as our first guest Steve Henneberry. Steve, welcome to the program. Thank you, Maria. And Steve is here because he is about an event that he has helped create to benefit the, uh, I want to say, East County. And we'll get into the details about that. And also, KADY TV is going to be there this Sunday broadcasting from the event. So, Steve, why don't you give a little tease about what Sunday's going to be about, and then we'll go into a little bit about your illustrious career and then what brought you to this day. Well, thank you, Maria. Um, yeah, we're, we're here today to talk about the, the first annual Westlake Village Charity Car Show, which is um, a, a, it's going to be an annual event in Westlake Village. Um, it's this Sunday, October 3rd, uh, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. We're expected to have over 300 cars from all different makes and, and uh, models of cars out there. Uh, we also have the first annual Conejo Battle of the Bands, where we're focusing and we're featuring 10 bands from all over Southern California that are going to be playing Maria throughout the day. And you guys are going to be covering the event uh, uh, and basically letting people know who can't make it out to the show um, how what's going on out at the event, and they can actually feel like they're being there. And, and participate uh, yes. as well. Yes. And we'll get into that too. So that was a good little tease. Okay. Um, and then let's talk with our with you so that our viewers, they might recognize you. They might recognize your name and they might not know why, <laughs> although our staff knows certainly why. Um, um, and bef before your big claim to fame, what was your road like becoming a talent and becoming uh, a performer? Well, I mean, yes, I, I did have a, a very, very gifted, uh, or I'm very grateful for the career that I did have in, um, in the entertainment industry. Um, I was once the original American Gladiators. Um, I played the character of Tower from American Gladiators. Uh, and how I got into the American Gladiators, Maria, was um, I was a former Mr. America in bodybuilding. Um, had an opportunity to audition for the American Gladiators in, in, in 1990. And, you know, I didn't know anything about acting or entertainment. I didn't, even, never even had uh, a clue of, of what I wanted to do in, in, in Los Angeles. I'm born and raised in a small town in Wisconsin. Moved out here only because I wanted to be Mr. America and you know, kind of parlayed the Mr. America into the American Gladiators and did a great uh, four-year stint on the American Gladiators. And, you know, it opened so many doors across the world. I mean, I traveled the world, you know, as Tower from the American Gladiators. And uh, you know, and that was then, you know. And now I am, I have a different role, and that's you know, a husband and father, and um, and that's what brings us here today because we're here to benefit, you know, my daughter's school, uh, you know, St. Jude's the Apostle School in Westlake Village, and I know you go to church at St. Jude's, and um, it's a small world, it's a mm -hmm. small community. Um, we've also teamed up with um, My Stuff Bag Foundation, Maria, uh, which is another local charity um, that helps kids. Uh, who are abruptly displaced um, through domestic situation, uh, uh, just an unhealthy situation for the child. My Stuff Bag Foundation steps up to the plate, gives them their essentials to go on and live a normal life so they're not labeled as a trash bag child. And, uh, and I think what Steve uh, is referring to is that oftentimes in domestic abuse situations or when child protective services get involved, the children are literally taken with just the clothes on their back out of the, the dangerous situation. And My Stuff Bags gives them toiletries, gives them a, a stuffed animal, gives right. them a binky blanket, right. gi gives them so that they have some kind of comfort in a horribly traumatic situation. Because a lot of times when if it's in, like in a drug situation, um, belongings within the household may be toxic you know, from what's going on in the household itself. So they, uh, you know, Child Protective says, leave everything, we'll get you this. And a lot of times they just get stuff that's laying around an uh, uh, orphanage or a foster home. And they don't get anything that's ever really theirs. And this is right. their way, that's their blue bag that they get to take with them. Um, it, it's, a great, it's a great cause, it really is. And I'm, I'm, it's, it's a pleasure to be teamed up with them along with. And it's ironic that is St. Jude's Kids Go down, I think it's once a month to My Stuff Bag, which is right in Westlake also, and help stuff bags. Do they? Yeah, so oh, it, was a, nice. it, was a, it was a perfect fit for us to work together, it really was. And, uh, and people may also know My Stuff Bags was, I believe, originally conceived and executed by Dr. Laura Schlesinger. Now, she's no longer associated with it, but she right. definitely got it, its legs and got it off the ground. And I also know that Michael Reagan, who is the son of President Ronald Reagan, he's on their board of directors. Right. 
So it has uh, quite a l illustrious, if you will, a credentialed longevity in terms of another charity that's going to benefit from the event. Right. You know, and going back to St. Jude's, the Apostle School, um, you know, I, I had a daughter, uh, an older daughter that's gone K through ninth grade there, or eighth grade there, and just has an, had an amazing experience at St. Jude's. Um, you know, her friends now, and she's off to uh, high school right now, and she's in a, at, at Louisville High School, which is an all-girls Catholic school, and she's still best of friends with her classmates from K through K through eighth. It's just whatever bond that these kids build, it's lifelong bond, and and it's like you know they see each other. Uh, it could be a year going by, and they still like best friends, and they just pick right up where they left off. So, to me. Um, it, you couldn't, I don't want anything, I wouldn't want anything different for my children to, to have that experience in life. And, uh, you know, St. Jude's is, is a private school. Uh, we're not subsidized by the state of California. So the fundraisers that we create as family and parents of the St. Jude's kids um, are, the money is earned through fund, fundraising. And that's why the Dad's Club has stepped up to the plate to, um, and this is our first annual, uh, the Dad's Club has only been in existence, Maria, for four months, and we've, we've rallied. <laughs> We've rallied 98 dads from St. Jude's to be a part of our group. Uh, my co-chair, Mike Cabrera, uh, and I have really, really just kind of put it out there. Said, hey, we're going to have a lot of fun doing this. Um, all of our meetings are based around a sporting event. Like we had our meeting last night for Monday Night Football. You know, that my Packers you know, didn't play too well against the Bears, but uh, um, it was a great night. Halftime comes along. We do our business. Commercials. <laughs> I was <gonna> say. <laughs> What kind uh, of business? No, but <laughs> believe it or not, we get, I get more dads to come out to watch a football with mm -hmm. us, and we get a lot done than if I was to hold it at, at a, just a, a, a place where we're not, not doing something or activities mm -hmm. going on. So we try to make it fun for the dads, and uh, it's not that we're going to go out there and say, okay, we need you to go and solicit, uh, solicit people for a $10 donation. That's not what we're about. We're about putting these fundraisers together and looking at the greater picture of, 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 of raising a bunch of money for a good cause mm -hmm. yeah, and not nickel and diming the people. Well, and one of the things about the uh, KADYTV.com and specifically the Maria Sanchez show is when we are up and running live on uh, Monday through Friday, which is imminent, we're going to be uh, benefiting the charity once a day, a different one. Right. And so you're not, while you're the first, you're not going to be the only one. There's over 2,000 charities in Ventura County alone. They obviously have a niche that they fill that is needed in the county. And so that's what we want to do too, is help them get their word out. If it's animals, if it's children, if it's brain injury, if you know, if wow. it's hospice, if it's bereavement, what, whatever it is, they have a need that then, of course, funding is difficult for everybody, especially in this economy. So I have to say that um, not only are you adventurous that you've done something in this short amount of time, but that it's going to be a first annual is pretty special too. Yeah, it is, and we're expected. We're we're, we're planning on having over three thousand people out there to to be a guest at at our show, and we're gonna. It's gonna be a family event. It's gonna just be a good old Sunday afternoon family event. Um, lots of good food, good music, and cars to look at. I mean, who doesn't want to look at a great car, a right. Ferrari? Right. You know. And we should mention it's 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., but you didn't say where. Oh, I'm sorry. It's at the uh, 31303 Agora Road um, um, in Agora Hills. It's the, Bank of, it's the Bank of America building just south of Lindero Canyon Drive right. um, on Agora Road. So it's in between. If you're coming north on the 101, you'd probably get off at Reyes Adobe and head north on Agora. Correct. If you're getting coming south on the 101, you'd get off at Lindero Canyon and, and go down that way. Just look for the giant blimp we're going to have up in the 100 feet up in the air. For, okay, well, yeah. there you go, giant blimp. <laughs> giant blimp. <laughs> now, um, bef we're not going to get into it this segment, but there's something else that I want to tease about for the next segment, and that's about the bands. And Correct. you said uh, there's local bands, but there's actually a way that the community can get involved, not only if you participate in the event, but if you watch on KADYTV.com, you can help with the cause in that regard, with the with the local bands. Now, you're not taking any more submissions for talent. No, we are we are fully um, uh, scheduled for all of our, all of our ten bands playing okay. throughout that day. Um, we're we're playing in in thirty minute segment segments of bands, and um, uh, we have a good uh, a variety of music. It's everything from classic rock to alternative rock to um, label bands. I mean, it's label music. I mean, it's it's going to be just I'm so excited about the band segment because this was kind of my brainchild of the of bringing the bands involved uh, because it brings a non-car person out to the venue. Right. Um, 
good old good old music. The other thing that um, we're going to mention in the next segment is that there's an opportunity to win a Harley. Correct. So we have lots my more personal, to discuss. <laughs> my personal Harley Davidson that I built. Uh, it's a 1997. Nope, you can't say anymore. Okay. We're going to take a break. All right. So I have Steve Hanaveri in studio with me. This is Maria Sanchez with the Maria Sanchez Show on KADYTV.com. We will be right back. <laughs> Hi, this is Peter Godinas from KDTV.com. I'm here to announce a new show that we're all excited about here called Meet the Boss. Now, this is about all your friends and neighbors who own businesses and being able to support them in their causes and helping them stay healthy. So save this program in your favorites. Make sure you spread it out to your friends. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all here in Ventura County. Welcome back to the Maria Sanchez Show. Thank you so much for your eyes on KADYTV.com. We're continuing our conversation with in-studio guest Steve Henneberry. Very good. <laughs> I'm subject to critique, so please feel free. <laughs> um, Steve, from the American Gladiators, and you were kind of really brief about that. I would love to get you know, to know more about what it took and the discipline to, okay. to get to that world-class status and then to be recognized and honored as the American Gladiator. And I have to say, my sons watched it too, and when we were in Mass once, they were like, there's Tower. <laughs> That's Tower. And I was like, who's Tower? <laughs> they knew all about it. So, <laughs> Steve is a dad of four, a husband of one, <laughs> unlike Big Love, and um, is here because he has not only helped kick off the Dad's Club at St. Jude's Apostle, Apostle School Correct. and Parish, but um, they have launched their first annual car show and music festival, and KADY TV is proud to help promote that and to broadcast it on this Sunday, October 3rd. Correct. Now, we uh, said there's uh, raffle tickets to buy for a Harley. Yes, we are. We've um, uh, we have a grand, our grand raffle prize is a 1997 Harley Davidson Fat Boy. It's my personal bike that um, I actually it was my 40th birthday present. <laughs> I, now I'm aging myself here. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, my life has changed a little bit, got more kids, and uh, just haven't, haven't been riding it. Uh, but I built this Harley. We are, someone is going to walk, with a, walk away with a $25,000 Harley for a $50 raffle ticket. Um, I mean, it's an absolutely gorgeous bike, and I don't know if, if you guys are going to have pictures to put up on, on yeah. site, but I'll send them to you. Um, it's, you can go to stjudeschool.org, click on Harley raffle ticket, and you can buy your ticket. One in 750 chance, Maria, to win this bike. Okay, so, the so odds, you're limiting. Yeah, we're only limited to 750 tickets. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's a great, it's, someone's going to have a, a great bike on their hands. And I, I can't wait for, for us to draw the drawing because I will just be so happy whoever wins. And, um, you know, it's, gonna be, it's a great way to, uh, to give back to, you know, to the school. It really is. I just, uh, about riding, because I, I ride one too, and um, I went to start it the other day, and it wouldn't because it had been so long yeah, since right. I had ridden it before. So I have a friend who's installing some automatic charger. Trickle charger, yeah. Yes, there you go. Yeah. So <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm it's talking unfortunate. about. Yeah, it's unfortunate. You know, as the kids get older, I have less time for myself, and, right. and, and I wouldn't want it any, any other way, Marie. You've, right. you've went through this age. You're at a different stage in your life with yes. your children. Yeah. Um, or, you know, I've got 15 to, four, to 3 in ages, and... Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, that's a little bit more, my time is limited. <laughs> yes, let us say. Now, the other thing that we wanted to share with our viewers is about the Battle of the Bands. Yes. Now, you have 10 local bands. Uh -huh. They're playing 30-minute sets, and they are going to be competing for a grand prize, which you can share with us, but it's not your traditional competition. No. It's not, when you think of Battle of Bands, you're going to have it's people's choice or people voting. And how, we've, how we put a spin on this is the bands are playing for free, Maria. I mean, we're, we're, they're not paying us. We're not paying them to be there. How we're going to pay them is just give, hey, we're going to give them some publicity. And I spoke with some good people over at Schechter Guitars, Schechter Guitar Research. And they have donated, graciously donated $2,000 guitars, a bass guitar and an electric guitar. And um, from what I understand, Schechter's a pretty name, good name guitar out there, because when I put it out there with the bands, they're like, oh wow, Schechter. Mm. So they are going to be donating, the band that brings in the most money during their 30, 30 minute set, Maria, is going to walk off with these guitars. Okay, go, so it, that while they're playing, it's critical that folks donate 
if that's who they want to donate to. Now, you can donate more than once, I would assume. You can donate up to five times. Per band or period? Per cell phone. But what, okay. we've, done, what we've done, Marie, is we've set up a, a, text your don a mobile texting donation. Okay, so it's a, it's a text. You text the keyword Go Care to 20222, and it's an automatic $10 donation uh, that it will appear um, on your cell phone. And then your normal texting uh, um, charges will apply, but it's a $10 charge um, that, that it's an automatic donation to the charity. Okay. okay. But you, the time that you donate, then that dis determines that it's going to that band. Correct. Okay. And you can also, I mean, we're going to have um, you know, more information on our website about it. If you hear all the bands and you decide you want to vote for band number two, because every band's going to have a number, you can still text Go Care Space 2 oh, okay. Perfect. to 20222 um, or Go Care Space 5. Um, that way we know what band it gets credited to. So basically at the end of the day, every, you know, we'll have a, a time log of when the bands are playing and the money brought in during their time slot is going to be totaled and they'll get a total there. And then we've also, they can go to, people can go to St. Jude, um, St. Jude School org and also just do a straight, if they don't want to do it on their cell phone, Maria, they can just do a straight flat donation to uh, the band that they like. And they don't have to put a number, they just put the name of the band and then the dollar amount. And then I would assume that people who are in attendance can donate at the time cash or checks yes. there while Absolutely. the band is playing. We're going to have cl um, collection baskets going on, like the good old-fashioned church <laughs> like collection. Church. There's something about that <laughs> basket going in front of you. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> so um, we're going to do the good old-fashioned uh, you know, Catholic tradition of collections. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully we can you know, raise some money. And it's all about the kids. I right. mean, this has nothing. No one's putting money in their pocket but the charities. I mean, this is going straight to My Stuff Bags and St. Jude's School. Now, you mentioned, and we spoke briefly about My Stuff Bag, but what does St. Jude uh, have in mind with the money that you're going to raise? Well, it's, it goes to our, our um, so, uh, keeping our, our overhead. I mean, okay, I mean, you know, so for, like your cost, general operation fund? Yeah, general, fund. Op, general operation fund. I mean, we're always trying to improve at St. Jude's, of course. We want to improve on the athletic program there. You know, I mean, our kids at one point didn't even have uniforms to go play at a basketball. We were playing, I remember Our Lady of Malibu one time, uh, girls volleyball, and one of the moms at Our Lady of Malibu said, you know, who are we playing? Because the girls didn't have, the, didn't have uniforms. Mm -hmm. And that just killed me. You know, that just killed me. And from, coming from an athletic background, you know, I got a son coming up, you know, and I want him to have the best of the best, of right. course, you know, and, and the same with my daughters. But um, not to have uniforms, that's just, you know, and we, and we live in, you know, in a decent uh, community. Mm -hmm. um, I, want, I want the kids, and it's not going to be just athletics. It's, we're trying to get a Spanish program in there. We're trying to get uh, um, um, some other additional um, uh, ukulele, uh, music instructions, ukulele and the guitar, and that all takes money, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, it's just the general operating and, and basically... Um, cost of doing business. <laughs> well, and something that I'd like to add, which is one of the underlying themes of our program, is that if you want to make a difference, you can make a difference. And Steve, you're the perfect example of you saw a need, you created an organization, and you came up with the concept, and here you are promoting it, and you're almost to the finish line. And um, one of my personal adages is one voice, one vote, one paycheck. We each make a difference. We matter. Right. What our opinion is, how we spend our money, where we spend our money, what we do, etc. And you're the perfect example of that. I mean, St. Jude's has been around for 30, 40 years, right? Yeah, they've been there a long time. Um, I mean, my uh, my sister-in-law, who's now, you know, we sh she went to school there, and uh, you know, but it's it's just a great. Uh, community in, as a whole but unfortunately in the past it's always been the same people doing the work mm -hmm. and now the dads have kind of stepped up to play we don't want to take over what the women have been doing or the moms have been doing because they've been doing a great job it, my theory is if it's not broken let's not fix it mm -hmm. let's just supplement mm -hmm. let's add and improve mm -hmm. and uh, you know with some of the campaigns or charity uh, our, our fundraisers that we have in mind are in place you know the car show we want to do a hoop de do basketball tournament uh, we want to have possibly a 50s sock hop one night you know for a valentine's type theme. So some different different spins on fundraisers where it won't be just the St. Jude's community, it'll be you know, opened up to the to the city of Westlake or Thousand Oaks. And if you can see, Steve has a St. Jude School Dad's Club bowling shirt, which is like <laughs> unbelievably gorgeous and quality. And I mean, it's not some t-shirt that says right. St. Jude's on it. I, 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 you guys are really like hitting the road running. Well, we, we want to make a mark. We want people to identify, oh, that's the Dad's Club guys, you know, and you know, and the dads love this. We have matching um, ball hat, Do ball you? caps, yep, and with the shirts. And like, our theory is that if we want to go talk at a mass or after a mass, 
you know, this is how I would go on a Sunday afternoon to Mass. It, right. It's presentable. Right. You know, it's professional. And, um, you know, and shorts and T-shirt don't cut it with me. <laughs> so. it's, it's that old school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it does, I don't think it ever leaves, does it? No, no. So no. why don't you mention the website once again that folks can go on to not only get more information but to help either buy a Harley ticket or donate to a band. Okay. The, uh, the Charity Car Show website is WLV charitycarshow.com. That's where you can get general information about the car show and do some, uh, some search, surfing on there. You can actually see some cars up online there. But the place to go to donate um, for a band or buy a raffle ticket is the St. Jude School Dot org and that's St. Jude, not St. Jude's, St. Jude School dot org. And you can click on raffle ticket or band donation. And again, KADY TV will be there. We'll be covering it live on Sunday, October 3rd from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Bank of America parking lot off of Agora Road in between Lindero Canyon and Reyes Adobe. Adobe. Right. And don't forget, if you want to just do a text, text keyword go care to 20222. Perfect. Steve Hanaberry is our guest in studio. Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations. I look forward I look to for seeing you. you. And yeah. Me too, and I look right. forward to the success and the return of it. Maria Sanchez with the Maria Sanchez Show on KADYTV.com. Thank you so much. We appreciate your views.